Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to give you a tour from the entirety of the, my 32 foot stainless 310 tarpon. Running off the anchorage system, okay, this is where we have seats, down in this little compartment. Yeah, walk. We have a button for it all. You always walk. It's not one of the turn ones, walk. The button when you turn the boat on. And so we have big apartments. This is like a center part of the boat where we have some ropes. We also have ropes and some ropes. And here is another seat area. Right here we have something to put. I, I don't really know. We didn't get, we bought the boat. Didn't really tell if you can put like a cup or a phone in there or whatever you want to put. Next we have the main, the way how you get around, like a steering wheel. Got the steering wheel, go in there, go in, I can't see what you guys see. Going up, we got a radio, down there we got a fish finder, all the buttons, and then here we have more buttons, and then on the other side, there's the way you can uh, go faster, slower, Reverse the next little gadget right next to it. Oh, I just poked my hand. Okay, you just oh, it's a little hard to get open. Now in here we have an item one. This is like a cabin with a little potty. A bunch of tackle that's not even ours whatever's in there two knives some some tackle and then some gloves some like other stuff some polish some paper towels basically that's where you store like if you have bags like if we were going out for a day trip you'd want to bring a bag with some snacks in it you can put those down there Two couple orders there. Moving on, I'm going faster than I kind of would like. We got rod holders, of course. This gadget, it's not on. Rod is using it. It's a, it's a hose that's connected to our boat, so you get blood everywhere when you land a fish. No problem. Spray it off. Here's a seat for that. We got a foot rest. Here we have elderly people need to get up, so they can grab, put their weight on there, and go on. Hurry up. But next we have a live boat, one of two. And here we have the net and some other stuff. Nice live boat, there's the tube. And then no idea what that that's stuff for a reason. Next, which I think is really cool, it's a basic. In here, look at all that. Tackle boxes. Really sick. And here we got some ropes and stuff. And this one I'm pretty sure is empty. Yep. That's this whole part of the boat. Now we have the back of the boat to go. Starting off, we have a scrub, a scrubber, big thing, and a brush. They have connectors over here. Of course, our, our boat's electric. We have the speaker things, and then we have a gas, a little rusted, and then uh, something to push off and stuff. And that's how you turn the batteries on, there's where you charge it. For, and up there we have outriggers, and then some metal pole holders, and some backlights. You know, if you can go night fishing. But for our engines, we have twin 250 Suzuki's. Really nice. A ladder, or boat, I'm actually pretty sure it's for diving, it's a dive boat, you can dive, but it works perfectly fine for fishing, it's a cynical boat, it can be used for multi-purposes. There you go, we got that side, you want to jump in, there you go, want to jump in, there you go, there's a ladder on that side, so you can get up easier. And next, which is about my favorite, which, well no, that's the live well, number two. In here, we washed it off so it's all wet. But we got another live well, this one's not as big. The container's bigger though. 
and uh, the next thing is this giant fish well where you keep the fish you're gonna catch put some ice and some water down in there and then this side of it is the same just oh this side of it is just the same just a little more and so some interesting uh up there is our life jacket you always it's recommended to have one for every person on board and right now for rod equipment i only have my 10 senators on some uh, offshore anglers for only troll and fish for sharks and stuff whatever we're fishing for i keep two spinning uh, three spinning rods on me one super light one super heavy and one medium heavy i keep those here's the rod i have on now brand new rod it's uh built not count not the same brand start off cork bottom it's an ugly stick cork bottom blue and white or black and blue and then here you have a hold up let me just get it so you guys can see that we have a pin battle two four thousand size reel with some 25 pound mono mono filament with that nice handle that has the best grip in the world paired up with a shakespeare collab with ugly stick intercoastal the intercoastal rod and reel oh the intercoastal rod and for the reel is a pin bottle too brand new of each with a bath pro brand jig head a snooker jig yeah it's a little rough i just caught a few uh, i hooked up on like a 35 inch snook it didn't snap me off it just popped off my knot's a little weird but i had that rod normally i keep a bg 2500 with a quantum XP 60 or 36 with it, and my pin senators, and finally it's a pin fierce three heavy rod. Heavy as one that broke with I think a 8,000 or 10,000 reel. I can't tell. The biggest reel they make. Big reel takes a lot of line. Pair it up with 50 pound mono filament, and uh, I keep a uh, you know one rod i think it's a gulp or whatever uh big fish it's a big fish catch more fish it's like a nice tr drift fishing rod but it broke because it wasn't the most expensive reel ever where stuff like this rod i think you can fact check me 130 and in reels are like 140 I bought it. I finally put line on last night. I took all the stuff off. I got ready because I was planning to go today. This is the first video I'm filming this after I film the video that's coming up in a few days of fishing. It's either going to come up in like a week or, or in a few weeks or it'll come up soon. Just saying. And then we have the deck box up there. But I mean, is there anything else to show you? Engines. No, I don't really think we have anything else to show you. Other than, I mean, you haven't liked and subscribed? Wait a minute, you have to. See you next time.